Okay guys, doing a quick review of the Cytec X52 or Cytec X52 depending on how you pronounce it. Plug it both ways. Uh, this is not the Pro model. Okay, um, I guess to start this review. It's uh, very good looking and nice feeling joystick. It's got a lot of uh, play back and forth, like a lot of, a lot of love, and uh, the play in it, like the actual play where it doesn't do anything, is very minimum. It's only uh, about half a millimeter between all ways, so, you know, half a millimeter of play is definitely decent. Um, then we also have the throttle, all of its buttons, and the LCD really makes it look pretty. Got uh, the time there, time, the date down there. Uh, another nice feature is uh, the programming of it. It's a little bit of a bitch to do, but uh, the programming of it, you can actually set it to say stuff. So I push the trigger, right there, and it'll actually say stuff. Trigger, oh, hang on a second, it's all going to say trigger, I push and hold this button, and I touch that button, hang on a sec, can't, okay, there you go, now it says DCS, for uh, DCS Black Shark, I've set up some buttons for it, so if I push the trigger button now, fire weapon one, uh, Button down here, uh, master arm, uh, if I switch, the mode switch, because red, I set up the red light here for uh, all my killing and whatnot for DCS, okay, so now I'm on the green switch, which is all set up for your landing, and so there's auto start, auto shut down, got landing gear, um, can't remember, I, I, there's so many buttons here, so that's the only problem with the joystick, is there's so many buttons, and so many different ways to use the buttons, that you sort of forget what's what, but I know the main ones, you know, I know my landing gear is down there, and whatnot, and on the red, I got my shoot button there, missile launch button there, flip that up, push it, flares, Hold the pinky button and push that. But, uh, all together, it's a really nice joystick. Um, I don't even know how many buttons are on this thing. Too many. Uh, we'll just open up the control panel, see what it says. Uh, control panel, so right here, got 32 buttons between everything here, 32 buttons and then the three hat switch, what not, uh, something else, I, I don't even know what that moves, not a friggin clue, oh that's a mouse, oh that's cool. But, uh, anyways, <laughs> moving on, so yeah, so according to this, it's 32 buttons plus hat switches, which you can count those as buttons, because you can actually set them up to be buttons. Um, so, 32 buttons, and then you got, uh, three different modes for each one of those buttons. So, 32, 30, you know, there's 90 buttons, and then also if you hit the pinky switch, you know, holy, there's, all, there's almost 200 buttons, and then between the hat switch, it puts it well over 200 buttons, because you can set each one of these up to do their own thing, so, you know, 200 buttons, it gets a little confusing sometimes, but uh, all in all, the joystick feels really nice. It's got, uh, not a stopper, but stiffens up at 25% and 75%. 
which is uh, really nice when you're playing a helicopter game because uh, 75% usually if you go any higher than that you'll uh, get blade slap going or uh, you know you'll end up start stalling the motors and below that below 25% you know you're just going for the ground so usually you don't have to go too far past that um, I guess I guess all the buttons are a dislike and a like at the same time because for DCS Black Shark it probably got 200 different commands. Um, but yeah, so we'll just uh, give you a little look here. I'll try and add a little more light. Okay, so that's the button set up. Uh, basically, right here, the blue. Right there, that's actually a mouse. Uh, it's not working currently because I got this open. But, uh, got the mouse, left mouse button. Uh, then you got a little hat turn knob switch thing. I don't know, it's just a turn knob. Push button, slider, push button. Then you got another push button up here, slider. Uh, yeah, then on the front you got another hat switch of the throttle right there. Okay, um, scroll wheel, which is also your right mouse button. Um, the only thing that I haven't figured out, it's sort of fun to play with when you're in DCS Black Shark, is why do you need a stopwatch? You know, sometimes I turn that on just to uh, want to launch a rocket. You know, even though it tells me in the game how long it's going to take to get there. Sometimes it's fun. Or I guess maybe if you wanted to see how long you play games for, you could do that too. But, uh, then we move over to joystick. Nice feature is on the joystick itself. It actually has an adjuster where you can lift and lower the bottom switch so that way when your hands in there it fits nice and comfy you know the button's not way up here and the other one's way not down there but, uh, but yeah all in all it's got a double button so you got one trigger the second trigger which I haven't figured out use for a second trigger yet but sure I will and then uh, you got these buttons here, they're called switches according to the manual, but they don't stay up. And each one can do its own thing. So, um, then we move on to the main part. Got a hat switch here, which goes around, the lights are pretty. Push button there. Uh, another hat switch there, push button, push button, that's just the light for what mode you're on. A little flip switch which makes it feel so realistic when you're uh, planning on launching a rocket at someone. Flip that up, hit the button, flip it back down. Uh, like I was saying, it's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of movement in the joystick, which feels really nice when you're playing. Uh, you also got your radar stick, which is not too bad. It seems to work pretty good. Um, one thing I like about this thing is uh, it's nice and smooth. I can move it nice and smooth. It's not jumping all around. You know, I, I've had joysticks. Where this thing's just doing one of these constantly in the middle, and you move it over, and it does one of those. And, you know, so. um, I think the only real downfall that I have with this joystick is uh, the profile editor. It's a little, a little difficult to use, but I mean, it, it does work good open my DCS black shirt file here. Okay, so there's some of my key commands. What I found is uh, if you just say 
Uh, where's D? Oh, there's C. But, uh, uh, can't find D button. But it's, it's there. Okay, well, we'll use toggle 5. Okay, toggle 5. Let's say that I need to make that into, uh, for DCS Black Shark, uh, there's the startup switch, the auto start switch, which is the home key or left windows key, and home. Okay, you can't just type it in like that and say it's good. Because it'll, what the software, it pushes the home key, let's go, or pushes the left windows key, then it pushes the home key, but it doesn't hold the left windows key down like you need it to, so uh, a lot of people are having issues with that, where they've set it up and it won't work in the game, and there's actually a lot of forms where people are having issues with buttons, especially for DCS Black Shark. What I found is you open this, and uh, you just go up to the top here, new advanced command, Okay, so there's your command name, which whatever you type in here will actually show up on the controller here on the LCD. Um, give that a second. It's uh, having issues. So oh, there it goes. Focused again. Okay, so for this, now, same scenario, I want to start it. See how it does the double there? It shows it pushed in and then comes out. Well, then you hit the home key, does the same thing, so what I do, left click on that, right click, delete. Now it holds the left windows, holds the home key for, I don't know, quarter of a second, or a hundred milliseconds, or something like that. It shows you right there the times. But anyways, then you hit OK, and you're good to go. Uh, and like I was saying, uh, it had the mouse. No, don't save that. It has the mouse feature, which is sort of cool. I can, uh, my mouse is way over there. Okay, so I can move this right there, and it actually moves the mouse around so I can, uh, go over. I got it set really low, the sensitivity, so. But, uh, there we go. You know, and whatever, you can click on that. It works just like a mouse, so really you don't even need that thing. Um, I, I wish it was a little more sensitive. It's, you know, you can move it a little slower, but I mean, it's really, really touchy. Like, just barely moving it and it flies around pretty good. And that's with the sensitivity as low as it goes. Uh, but like I said, all in all, Joystick is good, especially for DCS Blackshire. Got it about two days ago. Had a guy on eBay ship it to me. Um, but yeah, so I think that's about it for now, and uh, I'll definitely have to definitely have to make another video of using this thing because, like I said, it's really nice, good-looking system. And like I said, this is not the pro model. But it works good. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty well it, other than uh, the only downfall, well, another downfall to it, is the USB cable is only like four feet long. So, you know, four feet, my computer is way down there, and this thing, it, the USB cable comes off the throttle, not the joystick, so. You know, I ran it down there, and I barely had enough to do that, so. But anyways, guys, have a good one. Uh, oh, wait, we better do one more, one more quick thing before we run. Another cool feature to this thing before I'm done here is, uh, in the programming, I can actually adjust LEDs, so. Like the brightness and whatnot. So, like uh, right here, brightness of the LED, I can brighten it right up, put it out. That's just by moving that side to side. It also does the controller.
which is sort of cool. I keep it pretty low. Uh, I usually keep it out there. And then the MFD, which is your LCD screen, they got, uh, just zoom in here a little bit, they got three different times, three different clocks. I can't figure that out neither. You'd think you'd only need one. But, uh, anyways, uh, it's also got a brightness. So we click on that. I can brighten it up, dim it out here. Let's turn that out for a second. And I, I can really dig the color that they use. They use the nice dark blue, which is sort of cool. Looks a little green in the video here, but it's actually a really dark blue. Um, but yeah, so that's about all for this joystick. And like I said, I run that thing pretty low too. Just because I don't want the, the LEDs heating up. Well, LEDs don't heat up, but they do burn out. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, have a good one.